exploring the deep corners of physics can dredge up some interesting and often mind-blowing facts about our universe, let's take a trip down to the smallest scale of reality to reveal the mysterious and counterintuitive phenomena that govern the behavior of the tiniest building blocks of the universe. One of the highest goals of science is to create a theory of everything that can describe every aspect of the universe. The quest for this has led to the development of many different theories over the years and in recent decades. One theory that began development over five decades ago has been making waves throughout the scientific community ever since as a very possible contender for the coveted spot of the theory of everything, string theory. At its core, string theory is built upon the idea that if we were to put matter under a powerful enough microscope, we'd be able to zoom in and see atoms, then the nucleus composed of neutrons and protons, which are themselves composed of quarks, a fundamental particle. And if we were to zoom in further on this elementary particle, we would see a very, almost unimaginably small vibrating string. While this theory hasn't been proven, many believe that it will be in the not-too-distant future, but accepting this theory would mean accepting some mind-bending ideas that can seem almost fantastical. The theory says that every fundamental particle that makes up our reality is nothing more than a small loop of string vibrating at a specific frequency corresponding to specific particles. Within the standard model of particle physics, there are currently 17 particles, and if string theory proves to be true, each is made up of the same fundamental string, just vibrating at a different frequency or mode. Imagine everything we can see being built of a trillion tiny microscopic strings vibrating in harmony together and giving rise to all of reality. This theory also takes into account theoretical particles that have yet to be confirmed, like the graviton, which can be easily explained using string theory along with some of the more difficult to understand aspects of it, like the fact that it only fits into theories if it's a massless particle and has yet to be detected even by the most powerful particle accelerators in the world. Oh, and did we mention that these tiny strings vibrate in at least four different dimensions? But just four dimensions isn't nearly enough for string theory. It turns out that the math and equations that build up the theory of string theory will only work if we take the three dimensions of space and one of time that we're familiar with and add another six dimensions on top. This world of 10 dimensions is quite hard to conceptualize, partly due to the fact that we are three-dimensional beings with three-dimensional brains. What would these other dimensions even be like? Some theorists have tried to answer that, like the famous European scientists Kaluza and Klein, whose theory contends that the fifth dimension is somewhat of a dimension of parallel universes containing nearly identical realities with different variations present in them. Others believe that the higher dimensions are twisted and compressed to extremely small sizes that can only be accessed by things the size of fundamental strings. Some physicists even proposed an eleventh dimension that contains everything and anything that is possible, a dimension containing an infinite number of infinities. One of the hardest ideas associated with the Big Bang to wrap your head around is the idea that everything came out of nothing. But string theory has an answer to this. Everything that came into our universe during the Big Bang came from another universe. Within the entire reality existing within string theory, our universe and others can interact with each other, leading to some interesting results. The combined forces of two universes interacting with each other could have led those energies to give birth to our universe in an event that we call the Big Bang. But if the Big Bang didn't come from nothing and was kick-started by another dimension or universe, what kick-started those? 
Researchers working on string theory have explored many different paths that are branching out from it. One of these branches follows the possibility that the fundamental strings are only two-dimensional objects while holding the information necessary for three dimensions. This would make our universe nothing more than a flat plane of existence spreading out in two dimensions along an infinite horizon that's projected into the three-dimensional reality that we see and exist in. If this is the case, it may be good news for physicists as the equations that describe string theory and other things such as quantum gravity become much simpler. Black holes, the gravitational monsters of our universe that rip the very fabric of space-time. These behemoths are only understood to a certain extent. Scientists are fairly certain of how they're created and their effects on their surroundings. String theory has its own list of features and properties that black holes could possibly possess. When a black hole forms, its gravitational force literally forms a hole in space-time that some say aren't a hole at all. They're tunnels that lead to another universe or dimension. The wormholes that transport travelers to other dimensions have been a part of science fiction for ages, and now we may be close to discovering them in our own universe. When matter collapses into a black hole, the material that falls into the singularity may eventually be released in another universe's Big Bang. Some that study this theory go so far as to say that each and every black hole in our universe may contain an entire universe of its own. So could technology eventually allow us to withstand the forces present in black holes and make a journey to the other side? The existence of another universe is just the tip of the iceberg of possibilities within string theory. One of those being that the current state of the universe is just one point along an endless cycle that may take billions, if not trillions, of years to repeat. Within string theory, there exist objects called brains that aren't really objects and live on the level of the fundamental strings themselves. Brains contain potential worlds that share at least one of the higher dimensions of space with our world. These brains contain all possibilities for each of their worlds and are in an infinite cycle of creation and destruction. In the shared dimensions, these brains can interact with each other, colliding, and in some cases merging to create entirely new universes. Some theorists even contend that collisions between these brains are what drive new big bangs and new universes coming into being. So, string theory is working to unite all of these theories of reality into a single theory that can be used to describe everything that we see and experience within our universe. Will it get there? If you're hungry for more mind-blowing facts that will disrupt your reality, check out our video, 13 Space Facts That Will Change Your Reality.